Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today's video is really exciting. We are doing three super easy DIY towel holders for your bathroom or your kitchen, anywhere really, but specifically your bathroom and your kitchen. These are so simple. I never do DIYs on my channel that are too difficult. Seriously, they cost like nothing and they're so easy. Sometimes I'm like, are these too easy? And I'm like, no, that's the whole point. Simple DIYs or simple decor changes that make such a huge impact in your space. That's what this channel is all about. Okay, let's get started. wondering why we're starting this video in my bathroom we're in my bathroom two reasons first reason is it seemed appropriate because it's all about DIYs for your bathroom but also because spotlight oral care is sponsoring today's video I've said before on this channel that I'm really trying to use more natural beauty and skincare products I think it's safe to say I have switched all of my skincare hair care, makeup is like a slow kind of transition, but pretty much all of my skincare and hair care is clean. So when Spotlight approached me and I was researching their brand, I was so excited to learn that all of their products are made from safe, non-toxic ingredients, which you would think that if you're buying toothpaste and products that are actually like going into your body, that those would be clean, but a lot of them aren't. I don't even think I know what's in my toothpaste. It's owned by two sisters who are dentists. Hashtag girl power. They started this company, just the two of them, and all of their products are 100% biodegradable. Their toothpaste tubes are made from sugarcane, which I just think is so cool. Think of how many toothpaste tubes we go through in like a year, a lot. Another thing I've been loving using is their whitening teeth strips. I used to whiten my teeth all the time. My teeth were so sore. Up until Spotlight Oral Care sent me these whitening strips, I was like, I'm not touching whitening strips. But the reason that these appeal to me is because they are great for sensitive teeth. It also comes with this comforting gum oil. So after you apply these whitening strips, you can also apply the gum oil to help soothe your teeth which is awesome. I just feel so much better about using these strips from a company that is all about sustainable packaging, sustainable products, and like I said, aren't filling their products with a ton of nasties and toxic ingredients. Of course, you guys, I have a discount code for you, which will be right up here. So click my link in the description box, use my code, and enjoy watching me brush my teeth. A thing I never thought I'd say on the internet, but here we are. I wish you had thumbs. I wish you had thumbs so you could DIY with me. I look very made up today because I was shooting a Make My Space Work episode. We're finally shooting in real life makeovers again. I'm so excited. If you are not subscribed to my other channel where I make over entrepreneurs' workspaces in partnership with Shopify, I will link it up here. Please check out that channel. We do so many fun makeovers and it's so great to be, to be back. But that's why I have a lot of makeup on my face. Okay, so for this first DIY project, you will need some silicone beads. I have linked the ones we use down below, but there are tons you can find on sites like Etsy in tons of colors. You will need fishing line. You will also need a leather knob and a picture hook or a nail. So the first thing you wanna do is take your fishing line and tie a knot at the end, and then you just wanna start stringing your beads along the fishing line. Okay, so we strung all our beads. We're not loving the color combo, so we're gonna start again. It looks kind of juvenile and babyish. It looks like one of those like baby teething things. So I think we're just gonna keep the beige beads and the dusty pink. We also need to figure out how to actually attach this to the wall. This is an Ikea knob, so the hole is quite big. So while Alana's restringing the beads, I'm gonna try and figure out a solution for this. Okay, let's start again. So I think I found a solve for how we're going to actually 
put this on the wall. So these are Ikea knobs and they come with this thing that fills the hole and then you screw this into your drawer. That's obviously not gonna work because we wanna put this into the wall in a bathroom. You could also just use leather though, honestly, if you have like strips of leather, that's probably maybe more cost effective. We just happen to have tons of these leather knobs lying around from Ikea. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut these off like this. And then again on this side. And then what you wanna do is take your hot glue gun, some glue along the inside. And then this is the really important part. You wanna take like a binder clip to hold it in place while it dries. That's just gonna make sure it really adheres those two pieces of leather together. That was a very lovely rhyme. <laughs> And then when it's dry, you'll have something that looks like this guy. And then we're just going to nail this picture hook, or you could just use a regular nail, right through here. And then it's gonna sit nicely on the wall. Got yourself a little holder. Cute. So fun because you can experiment with different colors. I think this would be really cute in a kid's bathroom. Just super easy, super fun, add some color, and just looks really great on display. For the next DIY, you will need two leather knobs. I chose black. I think black looks really sleek for this DIY. And then you want to get a dowel. Now, dowels are really inexpensive at the hardware store, and you can even have them cut down at most hardware stores, which is great. The key here, though, is you want to take out the screw that is holding the knob together, and then all you want to do is string the dowel through the two knobs, nail it into the wall, and you have this really adorable tea towel holder. I think this would look so great in the kitchen by a sink or put your paper towel on it or put it in a bathroom that you want to maybe feel more rustic. You could paint the dowel, you could stain the dowel. Alana and I were also thinking if you cut the dowel shorter, you could use this as a toilet paper holder as well. The possibilities really are just, just infinite. <laughs> The last DIY you'll notice, this took us a while to figure out. I'm gonna pop up our original inspo photo for this project, way different than what we ended with, but I think that this proves that sometimes it's a process, you have to try things out, see what works, what doesn't. But originally we wanted to do this really cool like triangle towel holder, but we couldn't find any really strong wire, and the wire we did have was just really flimsy, so, as you'll see, we just kept changing the idea up, but we landed with something really, really great. So what you'll need for this DIY is some garden or craft wire. And you wanna get a wire that is really easy to move and to kind of like shape in any shape that you want. You could do a triangle, you could do an octagon, just you could do any shape really. And you will also need a small piece of dowel. So at the hardware store, we just asked them to cut the bigger dowel that we got for the previous DIY down to like a really small, I would say like two inch wide piece of dowel. You'll also need a tassel or some butcher's twine to make your own tassel and you'll need some wooden beads. You wanna take that small piece of dowel and you wanna drill a hole through it. Now I just took a piece of wood under the dowel, obviously, so my drill doesn't go through my table. A dowel with a hole in it. Okay, next step -aroni. Pizza time. To get your wire straight like this, so let's say it's like a little bent, it has a couple of kinks in it, you wanna just take a towel or a tea towel, I'm using a hand towel, and then you just straighten out the wire. It really works. So that's how we're making our triangle nice and straight. Okay guys, so something's just not right. <laughs> just doesn't look right. So I think we're gonna change the plan and instead do a semicircle using this, it's just like an Ikea organizer thing as a template. So we're gonna wrap the wire around this, 
straighten it out and see how that looks slash works. Okay, so we've got our shape looking really cute. Now we're gonna join the edges together with these silicone beads that we used in the previous DIY. This is also gonna help protect the edges because the edges are quite sharp. This third project isn't going the way we anticipated it to. The wire that we're using is just like too flimsy. It's gonna lose its shape. It's just not, it's not working out. So, let me go back to square one and use the wire to do a circle. And I think the beads are gonna hide the fact that it's not like a perfect circle. Let's hope. You just wanna take your craft wire and you want to string your beads on it. You could do any shape really, but I think the easiest is just a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect because the beads are gonna hide the shape of it. And when you get to the end, you want to leave enough room to twist the ends of the wires together. We tried using glue and it just didn't hold very well, but this wire is great because you can twist it and really like lock it into place. You'll notice that you will be able to see where the wire is twisted together. So to solve this, we just put a really cute tassel made from butcher's twine on the end. It looks adorable. I really like it. I like it's it too. Cute. So we're just using a Velcro command strip to hang this so it's renter friendly. I feel like it's light enough that it should hold. And also we know that you're not gonna see the tassel once the towel is over it, but we thought it would just be like a cute little decorative element for when there's not a towel on it. How cute. I really love this one. And I loved how it started out as something completely different and we kind of just like made up a fun DIY project. There you guys have it. I know those were the easiest DIYs ever in the world, but that's what we do on this channel. We do easy DIYs that are simple, cute, easy to make. And I feel like honestly, in a time like this, when things can feel so uncertain and so scary, sometimes it's nice just to do a project that you don't really have to think a lot about, but you know is gonna be really cute hanging up in your bathroom. If you make any of these projects, as always, please send me a DM to at Alexandra Gator on Instagram. I love seeing all of your projects. I try to repost as many as I can throughout the day. And it just makes my day to see that people are inspired by what we do on this channel. Thank you again to Spotlight Oral for sponsoring today's video and giving me a snazzy new toothbrush and some awesome whitening strips that are not gonna make my teeth feel like they're gonna fall out of my face. That was really aggressive, wow. Make sure you guys use my discount code. All the info will be in the description box if you want 25% off your purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.